Hello everyone. In this session, the very important topic of the induction machine concept is rotating magnetic field. Here generally you know that the magnetic field that will it will produce the flux that will be useful in the machine. But we have to discuss what is rotating magnetic field. Yes. In this concept, first look at the what is the constant magnetic field. So name itself, it will supply some magnetic field. So here generally we, we, we should use in order to generate the flux we should use two types of generally the, the flux production is two types one is the permanent magnets so by using the permanent magnets it will generate the flux and second is the electromagnets electromagnets and here permanent magnet means directly when one permanent north pole permanent south pole is there then the flux line is travels from north to south but what about electromagnets we are creating the magnetic field by using the electrical supply that is i am giving the dc supply to in a particular manner then it is act as a north pole and same continuation is there same particular direction it will create a south pole is there then always flux lines are travel from north pole to south pole north pole to south pole yeah this will be production this is the generally magnetic field it is the fixed magnetic field that is called as a constant magnetic field constant magnetic field here we should discuss what is rotating magnetic field we should discuss what is rotating magnetic field so in order to produce this rotating magnetic field generally we require we should use three coils three coils three coils means the coil is collection of conductors it we have number of conductors and which will be arranged in the same manner the same manner and that will give the same number same amount of flux okay so we have a three coils and we should use the first to produce the rotating magnetic field we require three phase supply three phase supply first thing and we require the three coils and each coil having the phase of each coil have the phase of generally it consisting of a 360 degrees phase in that each coil consisting of the by 3 we will get 120 degrees so each coil having the phase displacement of 120 degrees so coil each coil having like that okay and this is three phase supply we require three currents we require the three currents and each current is having the phase displacement is like this the each current has the phase displacement of 120 degrees again that is 360 by 3 and each current must and should have the 120 degrees of the phase is there okay so we require the three coils and each coil is 120 degrees and we require the three currents generally we are using the three phase supply then automatically it consisting of the three currents that is the 120 degrees of supply so here we should give the supply is like this the windings are arranged in this manner so for a coil is having winding arrangement number of turns into cos theta manner so the b coil is n cos theta it must and should have 120 degrees phase displacement the third coil is having number of turns n and again it has the phase displacement is like this we have three currents are there the first current is the im cos omega t is the value the second current is have 120 degrees displacement im cos omega t minus 120 the third current is ic equal im cos omega t minus 240 <coughs> so we should we should give the supply is like this so we have a one a coil is there a coil have this is the coil and ending like this and next b a, it have a 120 degrees displacement 
so 120 degrees generally this is the B coil and this is the C coil this is the C coil so A coil is A dash and B coil starting from here and it is the B dash C coil is starting from here and it is the C dash okay so A coil will take the power of IA and B coil will take the current of IB and C coil will take the current of IC whenever we are giving the supply like this then so here we should write what is N and what is IM here the N is number of turns in each phase number of turns in each phase so number of turns in each phase theta is the space theta is the space generally how much of space is required for these turns so this is a after 120 degrees b will be started after 120 degrees c will be started here also what is im so look at im is maximum current value maximum current value here omega t you know time angle omega t generally time in angles that is in radians so this is the thing so if these three windings and given to these three currents what will be generated so so whenever whenever some current is given to the given to the turns then mmf will be produced here the mmf will be produced so for example for this condition assume this is the a phase this is the b phase this is the c phase that is like this so for mmf mmf is magnetomotive force that is from phase a phase a will be like this that is we can write fa multiplied this is this this with n cos theta with this value then n cos theta and im cos omega t the we will get the finally this n into im we can write the fm maximum mmf and the remaining is the cos theta into cos omega t for fa okay next mmf produced by the phase b so that is mmf by phase b phase b is we can write like this that is fb equal to fm into cos theta minus 120 cos omega t minus 120 omega t minus 120 and next mmf by the phase c that is represents with the fc that value is fm into cos theta minus 240 and cos omega t minus 240 so these are the all the mmfs so a has mmf value b has mmf value c has mmf value the resultant mmf is is like this the resultant mmf value is you can write like this that is fr is nothing but combination of fa and fb plus fc so by adding these all the mmfs we will get by doing the calculation we will get 3 by 2 into fm cos theta minus omega t cos theta minus omega t this is the resultant mmf due to the all three phases 3 by 2 fm cos theta minus omega t okay so we will get the the final resultant mmf value is this value fr equal to 
3 by 2 fm cos theta minus omega t okay so here the thing is here the thing is whenever three phase currents if the three phase currents are given to the three phase windings three phase windings all windings are it has also displacement of 120 degrees displacement of 120 degrees then by giving this we will get the a traveling mmf we can call it as it will produce a traveling mmf this mmf is called a traveling mmf or nothing but resultant mmf resultant resultant mmf so this is is fr value is the travelant mmf for the resultant mmf that has an amplitude of 3 by 2 mmf 3 by 2 fm is amplitude okay so here 3 by 2 fm is the peak value so this is 3 by 2 fm is the peak value we can call it as the peak value okay any phase peak value for the any phase it rotates with the particular speed so it rotates the thing is it is not constant it will produce mmf that will rotates with the speed this flux value is rotate with the speed here the speed will be find out like this the speed is we can write like this the electrical speed is generally p by 2 mechanical speed p by 2 mechanical speed the electrical speed is we can write 2 into phi into f and p by 2 we can write the mechanical speed 2 pi n by 60 2 pi n by 60 so by solving this 2 pi 2 pi will be cancelled and we will get the n value equal to 120 f by p 120 f by p so these 120 f by p is called as the synchronous speed the name is the synchronous speed this name is the synchronous speed and so the resultant mmf is rotates with the synchronous speed so the fr rotates with the synchronous speed so this is called as rotating magnetic field due to this fr the flux will be rotates this is called as the rotating magnetic field okay yeah this mmf will produce the in windings rotating rotating magnetic field rotating magnetic field and it rotates with the synchronous speed in the winding okay so this is about the rotating magnetic field concept a simple thing whenever three phase supply is given to the three phase winding the mmf will be generated that mmf is resultant mmf that will produces the rotating flux the rotating flux is known as the rotating magnetic field it rotates with the synchronous speed that is ns this is known as the rotating magnetic field concept okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you